Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Reiki Live. Give me a moment of grace here. I'm going to turn that music down just a little bit. Good morning. This is Reiki Live. I am Carrie Wade. I'm an Asui Reiki master teacher here in Chandler, Arizona. I am also a Karuna Reiki practitioner and a Holy Fire Reiki master. Um, I started doing Reiki. I got my Reiki, my first Reiki master certification back in 2004. And I think 2004, is that right? I think so. 2004? Yes, it is. And um, I really got re-engaged with Reiki back in 2016, 2017. And started offering it out to people other than my family, my friends. I have a piece of paint missing off the wall up here. Can you see that? <laughs> That's me taking and removing pictures. So welcome, welcome. If this is your first time to Reiki Live, I invite you to just come in and take a few moments to, to fill your own cup, to give you that moment of quiet and peace. We're gonna do a little meditation through our Reiki today. And, uh, oh, I need to share this out on my page, so I'm going to do that real quick. And if you can share this out on your page or maybe any groups that you belong to, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, am I coming through okay? Everybody can see me and hear me. Um, oh, my internet's really crappy at the moment. I may not be able to share this out. So, anyway, I hope it's coming through. Okay, looks like it. Looks like we got a couple people on here. So. Anyway, if my, oh, thank you, Sonia, I see you just shared, shared this post. Thank you so much. I would like to share it on my page too, but apparently that's not in the cards today. <laughs> I'm going to try something else here. Let's see if this one works. So, uh, 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 hmm, nope, that one's not going to work. Okay, hi Elaine, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Again, please just share this out on your page if you're willing to do so. If you have friends or family that you think could use a little meditation and some Reiki this morning, uh, I set the intention that whenever you watch this video, you will receive the Reiki that I'm going to be sending. Uh, Reiki is an energy technique, and since it is energy, it can be done in person, it can be done distance. In fact, I do a lot of distance sessions. This is Reiki Bear, okay? When I am doing distance sessions. Hi, Kathy. I am using my Reiki Bear, okay? This is you if you're getting a Reiki session distance, just so you know. And I, you know, check the chakras. I use a pendulum in this case. I just have a necklace here that I'm going to use. And I check the chakras for you uh, before I start and after I finish as well. So if it's your first Reiki session, I'm also going to check your Hara line. And your Hara line is like a tube of energy that connects us with our source and connects us with the earth. And sometimes when we go through traumatic events, um, difficult situations, addictions, illnesses, that sort of thing. We can get like tears in our Hara line. We can get little rips, we can get holes. Uh, sometimes the Hara line is just not moving energy through in a straight manner. It's just being, it's more like a garden hose instead of like a PVC pipe, for example. Sometimes we become completely disconnected from earth or disconnected from source. And so when we start your Reiki session, I'm going to check that har line. And if there are any repairs to be made there, then we're going to make those repairs first. Oh, okay, I guess I forgot to put on do not disturb. So I got little things flashing up here. So anyway, we're going to make those repairs first because this energy moves back and forth. It feeds your chakras. And if there are imperfections in your har line, then the energy will tend to leak out faster and you'll need more Reiki sessions. So instead of just wasting it, you know, it's like, it's like taking crappy vitamins 
and um, just peeing them out because our body doesn't absorb them. So I don't know why I thought of that association, but I did. That's just how my mind is. Okay, this is not going to let me load this and put it on my page. Our internet is slow here. So anyway, that's the way it is. So all you have to do today to receive Reiki is to just set your intention to receive. You can lie down in a comfortable place if that's good for you. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Jessica. Thank you for being here. And hi, is it Sophie or Sophia? Sonia. I'm sorry. Sonia, thanks. Kathy, how are you? It's so nice to see you. So thanks for being here, guys. Um, find a place to lie down if you can lie down and be comfortable. You can always sit if that's more comfortable for you. If you're at work and you're um, watching this when you're probably not supposed to be, then act like you're working. That's okay. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Trust me, the people around you will be happy you had some Reiki this morning. So I love doing Monday mornings because that's just a great way to start our week off. So uh, today I'm going to do a little practice from this wonderful book. It's called The Little Book of Mindfulness. It's just a teeny tiny little book, as you can see. Just a teeny little book. Hi, Lauren. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, today's theme is called Simply Be. Simply Be. Entering a state of being rather than doing can release us from the worry mind. Anybody get that? And help us taste each moment as it arises. With this calmness, we can move toward acceptance of how things are, okay? Nice, nice. We are a society of doing and, and thinking. And when we can just let go for a little bit and just be and feel, we can completely shift our energy. We can allow our body to relax so that we can heal ourselves because you have everything you need to heal yourself. Okay, it's just a matter that a matter uh, just a matter of slowing down and letting that happen. She said as she talked really fast. So, <laughs> so happy mo Monday, my friends. Let's take a moment. Let's just. Connect with our breath for a moment as you get comfortable. And if there's something specific that you would like to bring the Reiki into today, just bring that to mind. You don't have to have an intention. It's going to reach you whether you have an intention or not. It's going to go to where it is most needed. So we're just going to take a moment to observe the breath. Not making any changes. We're not judging anything. There is no right and wrong. Just notice how the breath is. And as you're just observing your breath, I am going to start the Reiki. Flowing. My intention is that you receive this energy for your best and highest good whenever you watch. And it's important to know that when I do my invocation before I get on my lives, I call in help from my spirit guides, from the archangels, from the ascended masters, from any being of light. I'm very specific and only calling in the light during my Reiki sessions. To me, Reiki is a very sacred practice. And in the Asui Reiki tradition, which is handed down from master to practitioner, 
There are a series of symbols that we use that have different meanings. These symbols are supposed to be kept secret until you get attuned to them. However, there are some Reiki practitioners who don't believe in that, that don't follow the tradition, that you, find, you can find the symbols on the internet. But I don't think they have the same meaning unless you've been attuned to those symbols. So if you're interested in learning Reiki, I would love to invite you to drop me a note, send me a direct message or a text message. Contact me through my website, which is carryway.com. And I'm in the process of moving all of my Reiki trainings over to the Member Vault platform instead of the Facebook group platform. They're better organized. It's easier to find your way around. And I can add bonuses and such in a really easy place for you to find. So there are three levels that I teach. Reiki 1, Reiki 2, and then I teach the master and teacher Reiki together. Some do it in four levels. But I do levels 3 and 4 together. It's home-based, it's self-paced, there's videos, there's a manual, and then we get together to do your attunements, whether it's in person or if you live far away or don't want to do in person, we do them on Zoom. Okay? The energy. So as we're just breathing and just noticing the breath now, I'm going to guide you through some body awarenesses. And you can find these techniques again in this little book of mindfulness. If it's something that you want to practice on your own or try some of the other techniques. So just being comfortable. You might have a cover over you. Gently close your eyes. Just focusing on the movement of the breath. Noticing any sensations in the body. When you are ready, bring your awareness to the physical sensations of your body, especially touch where your body is in contact with the floor, the bed, the chair, the pillows. On each out breath, allow yourself to let go, sinking a little deeper into your bed or chair or mat. Just releasing any holding. Feeling a state of surrender as you let go of your breath. Letting it go. Releasing. Surrendering. Now bring your awareness to the physical sensations in the lower abdomen, to the changing sensations as you breathe in and out. It may be helpful to put your hand on your belly and to really feel each breath. Noticing that some may be deeper, others shallower, and there tends to be a little pause between each in and out breath. Total awareness on the breath. Be 
feeling the movement in and out. Now bring your focus gently down the left leg into the left foot. Focus on the little toe, the big toe, the toes in between. And then the sole of the foot. Then continue to move your awareness further up your left leg to the calf and the shin to the knee. When you are ready, on an in-breath, feel the breath entering the nostrils, then the lungs, and then passing down into the abdomen, the left leg, and the left foot. And then on the out breath, feel or imagine the breath coming all the way back up, out of the foot, into the leg, up through the abdomen, the chest, and on out through the nose. On each out breath, have a sense of releasing any tension or discomfort. As best you can, continue this for a few breaths. So breathing in through the nose, allowing the breath to pass down to the abdomen, the left leg, the left foot. Pausing for a moment and then exhaling, bringing the breath up from the toes, the foot, the left leg, the abdomen, the chest and out through your nose or your mouth if you wish. We're going to do that with the right leg. So bringing our awareness to the right toes, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe, to the right sole of the foot, to the right ankle, calf, shin, the right knee, the thigh, up to the abdomen, feeling the breath there, and then taking that in-breath through the nostrils, letting that breath go all the way down through the chest, the abdomen, all the way down your right leg to the right foot. Breathing out, breathing that air up through your toes, your foot, your ankle, your legs, the abdomen, the chest, and back out. Another breath this way, in, 
all the way down the right side of your body, legs. And as you take the breath out, releasing any tension and holding the breath. We're just going to continue that with the rest of your body. So you can start with bringing your awareness to your hips, your pelvic bowl, the abdomen, the chest and the shoulders, all the way up the head. Breathing in and pulling up that energy up. I'm sorry, breathing in and going down from your nostrils down to the hips. And as you breathe out, bringing the breath back up the body, releasing anything as it goes. Anything that's holding anything that feels tense, anything that hurts, just releasing it with the breath. And then if you choose, you can also do your arms, doing both arms at the same time, starting with the fingers, awareness to the palm, awareness to your wrists, up your elbows, into your shoulders, taking that nice deep breath in, breathing all the way down your arms to the tips of the fingers, and releasing anything as you breathe out from your fingertips back up to your shoulders and your nostrils. Now bring your whole body, your whole body, into your awareness. As you breathe in, feeling that breath move all the way down through your body. As you breathe out, letting that air come back up your body and out through the mouth. If you find any little area of tension or holding, just be with it for a moment. Ask the Reiki energy to saturate that place and let you go. It may not be a pain or illness that you're dealing with, but we also hold emotions in our body. So if you're feeling any kind of emotions come up as your breath travels up and down your body, just stop and be with it for a moment. Just acknowledging it. Not trying to make it leave. Not trying to do anything. Just being with it. can even ask it what it means, what it needs you to know. Then begin to bring your awareness back to your breath. Deep breath in and letting it go. And allowing the breath to just return to normal. To 
just being with it. If you have an intention that you'd like to set moving into this week, this is a beautiful time to do that. Set your intention. I always ask my guides and angels for their help, for their guidance, and for their protection as I move through my day. to a close. <sighs> Take a moment just to recognize how quiet the heartbeat is. silent the mind feels and relax the body feels now isn't that a great way to start a Monday whenever you're ready you can gently open your eyes take a stretch letting go of anything else in the body shaking it off relaxing Hello, John. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you're here. Ah, hi, Day. Glad you're here. Thank you for being with me this morning. I will see you again next Monday. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in the Reiki teacher classes or the Reiki practitioner classes and Reiki teacher classes, just drop me a line, okay? Let me know and we'll get you set up. I, my prices are super, super reasonable because I want everyone to learn how to do Reiki and I want everyone to be able to do Reiki on themselves, at least, at least on yourself. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, carrywade.com, you're welcome to set up a discovery call just by messaging me or scheduling it on my website and uh, we'll see what it is that you need. A uh, couple of quick announcements. Uh, it's a little bit more time. I extended out just a little bit, a little tiny bit. The sale, the 35% off on my coaching program, the Who the Bleep Am I program. It's a 12 module program with one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as modules for your learning. And also, um, I'm going to begin adding some reflexology to my practices. And so in the month of November, when you come for an in-person session, I will be inviting you to add on a free little reflexology session with that as well, probably 15 minutes or so. That can be foot or hand, I'm not sure yet. Um, just so that I have some more time to practice it before I start adding it on for real. So um, that would be a great time to have an, a Reiki session. I will be gone though from the 18th of November until December 5th because I'm going home to visit with my family and to spend Thanksgiving there. So make sure you make your appointment now because those spots before the 15th of November will fill up. So that will be with any Reiki session. Um, we can do it if you're doing Reiki and Yoga Nidra or Reiki and Hypno or just Reiki on its own. We'll be doing some reflexology also if you wish. So, if you do that, just when you fill out the intake, just put a little note in there that you would also like to have some reflexology. And I will get something on my website, but it won't be until the month of November. So, anyway, have a great day. It was good to see you here today. I appreciate you coming. Share this with your friends, your family, and um, just be kind to each other, okay? I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you next Monday.